Hello everybody, my name is Joss. I'm Mark. And we are in the vault and welcome to The Gag Show. <laughs> what are we looking at today? We are looking at the uh, the Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> the Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld's new wah pedal and his new album, <laughs> Reindeer Fog. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, Jerry... Uh, I, got, I don't know what his name is, and I can't read. Jerry Cantrell. <laughs> Jerry Cantrell. Oh my goodness. From the band Alice in Chains. Yes. So Jerry Cantrell from the band Alice in Chains and their new album, <laughs> Rainier <laughs> Fog, not Reindeer Fog. We should we should uh, clear up. I had a bit of a of a nightmare earlier. It was um, it was hilarious though. Yeah. It was a good night. Rainier nightmare. fog. Rainier fog. Not reindeer <laughs> it's fog. so easy to say reindeer yeah. fog. And that's where the uh, this is where this design is inspired from. And on the bottom, it actually does say rainier fog, I believe, on the bottom of the pedal, which we'll yeah. check out in a sec. There's like some more design. I don't know what this is. It looks like some sort of lizard man thing, but it's cool. It's it, cool. So these, it's exactly the same wire as the previous one, I do believe. Um, but they've basically just changed the the visual aspect of the pedal because of um, obviously pushing everything to do with the new album mm -hmm. um, and you know the the overall consensus with the pedal is that it's an amazing wah pedal I mean I don't know how much you can change I mean there's so many different things that they've added and taken away to wah pedals um, that for me it's just about stepping on it and using it and if it sounds killer it sounds killer but there's like a knob yeah I mean so the only kind of attenuator we have is this knob Okay. Which I'm not sure what it does. Well, we should probably find out. Talk about fine tuning something. Uh, but before we go, before we play, what have we got? We've got an OCD. Drive. Yeah, so I, I grabbed a Les Paul Custom uh, just because, the, apart from his, um, you know, his GNLs and his Super Strats and all that sort of stuff, he is using a Les Paul Custom every now and then. So I grabbed this Silver Burst, which is in stock at the Vault Room, which where we are now. And take us through the amp setup with the Oxbox and explain what's happening. Yeah, so um, the Les Paul is going into the wah, which is in turn going into the OCD full tone built in the USA. Um, and then that is basically just boosting the front end of the Dr. Z Z Rec. Um, but because this is a dedicated, because this is a dedicated clean amp and it's unbelievably loud, we grabbed the Universal Audio Oxbox to attenuate it, basically. Mm, what does that mean to...? So, um, it basically... I don't know what it does. <laughs> I wasn't asking for the science. Okay. Like, as a simple roundup, what does that mean? To oh, it musician? basically just means that I can crank the amp. As you can see, the volume's just past the 12 clock point. Uh, I can crank the amp and get this. <laughs> But pushing the front end with the OCD. Rock in. So we can get more of a more of a slightly higher gain sort of tone. Okay, so should we should we put this on the floor? Yeah, I mean, I think we need to, yeah, what we'll do is we'll move the coffee table back a slight bit or forward, not back because that'd be closer to me. Um, so we'll move it forward just so we have enough space for me to, or you, to stick it under your foot and then we can have an actual mess around with it and use it properly. Let's do it. All right, well, moved it down. Do it. Um, we've got the OCD off. I might, I might just play with this knob at some points. What, while I'm, you play with my knob while I'm controlling it, all right? OCD activated.
Kraken. <laughs> Hot Pockets. That now, is, I mean, it's a... It's us. I mean, it's, it's a war. I tell you what, though. Where is the knob set right now? Um, All the way forward? No, it was in the middle. You okay. see, I, wa I wasn't sure what it was doing. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just looking here. It says... Uh, uh, giving you the ability to fine tune the toe down frequency to dial in the perfect sound. Toe down frequency. Yeah. Okay, so we need to check out what the difference is. So if I put it, I've taken the OC, OC, I've taken the OCD, I've taken the OCD off. I'll put the toe all the way down, and then see if the frequency changes. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I think <laughs> So it's I mean, not, it's, it's subtle. It's very subtle. I mean, it's not necessarily... So this is all the way forward, right? So this is the knob yeah, all the way forward. That's, yeah. <laughs> and Sounds then all right. the way back. Just giving you clarity. Yeah. I mean, I prefer it like forward like that. Because if you're going oh, with from... The, with the clarity. Yeah, if you're going heel to toe... Yeah, I mean, they're both it, good, but... It gives it more yeah, diversity. I mean, when you're going from heel to toe, I personally feel as if you want it to... Have, not a drastic change, but I, I personally feel you want to... Yeah. You want it to be noticeable that you're making that yeah. huge wah sweep. And that's sound. by no means drastic, even no. even fully fully up there. No. Even though it's not fully up there. But yeah, it's 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 a good wah, you know. I mean it's isn't it with ha, 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 ho, ho. Even with wah pedals, there's so many different ones and you know it's it's crazy actually how many different wahs there are. Um but for me, it's hard to properly demo a wah pedal because you just want to, all you do is you plug it in, you show what, everyone knows what a wah sounds like. So basically it's just these small, really small details and increments in changes depending on what the artist or model wants. Mm. So the difference with this model is that you have the capability of kind of changing that toe down option. Mm. Um, but I don't know, is it basically the same as a Dunlop wah, but with the, 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 the capability of changing that toe down function? I mean, I guess the novelty of this one is that it's based on the old reindeer. Uh, reindeer fog. Reindeer fog but, design. So let's show. Oh, we'll get, we'll get some pounds of this. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, sorry, it's the lyrics to the song Reindeer Fog. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lyrics to the song Reindeer Fog. <laughs> some things last, some things you never get over. Yeah. Living in the past, you find out it's hard to stay sober. I need that beer. My seat. Oh. My see-through skin like urethane. It's like urethane, mate. One more. Lost and then found on the view for I wouldn't trade. I mean... Lyrics of reindeer, fo reindeer fog. I mean, I, this is a thing, right? I think... I mean, why would you, like, why would you put the lyrics on the back of a pedal? I'm not sure, but I, I kind of vibe with it, man. I think it's kind of like... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe Jerry just forgets the words to the song, flips his pedal <laughs> over, and he can read the lyrics. But I mean, look at this design, man. Yeah, the it's killer. Cool. And I think you know, and that's and it's still, what was the one before it? The design before it was it? like a it like was a, like a copper, like yeah. a like a shiny mottled copper. But yeah. this is it's a lot darker, um, and it's still got that sort of industrial vibe. It's Dunlop, it's MXR, it's still built like an absolute tank. Yeah. And apart from that, you get whatever this really, really cool design is. You get the lyrics to Rainier Fog. Um, you Obviously the toe down function. There's a lot going on. Do we know the price of this? 170. It's 170 pounds yeah, in store, that, yeah. yeah, around yeah. about the 170 pound mark. Um, I mean, that's, for a wire pedal with all of those sort of accoutrements is, um, is an amazing function. Yeah. Yes, mate. It's limited to 500 pieces. Well, now that is a di completely different. So, there may be a possibility that the normal Jerry Cantrell model still looks like the brass finish one, right? 
Maybe. I'm not too sure. We'll have to find out for you. But this is one of 500. Limited. Yeah. So it's a limited. So, okay, that changes oh, so it. That, that changes. changes it, yeah. That changes it because due to the naivety of us not looking up what the situation is, there is a reason why it looks like this, why it has the lyrics and all that sort of stuff, because it's one of 500 models that they've built. So if you want to get. Oh, sh Hello. So if you want to be in for the chance of. Um, of uh, grabbing a while like this, then I would suggest a piece get, of yeah, history. getting stuck in quickly because it's um, there's only one of 500. Great. Sweet. Sounds great. Looks great. Dr. Z. Feels great. Les Paul Custom. My name is Joss. I'm Mark. And thank you for watching the gag show in the vault. Make sure to come down and check out the vault because it's absolutely outrageously cool in here. Um, I'm in the store four days a week, so make sure you come in, say hello to me. If you want to know anything about the vault, just come and find me and we'll sort you out. See you later. Bye-bye.